Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Savannah and today we are continuing our Magic Babies Challenge, our Mystical Motherhood Challenge. It's been so long since I filmed this and I'm really sorry. I know that you guys want this, this series a lot, but I have so many other series on my channel that I don't want to neglect, so I've been trying to do them in order. <laughs> I hope you guys don't mind the big gaps. But I've been uh, building, I built the vampire bedroom. I also built the spellcaster bedroom, so I'm very, very excited to show you guys them. I really um, I'm very pleased at how they turned out. I hope you guys are pleased too. Also, I got a new mic. I also got a new mouse and a new keyboard. Um, just I've been just buying things here and there to improve the quality of my videos. I just want them to be enjoyable for everybody. So I got a quiet keyboard and I got a quiet mouse. I know that some of you guys enjoy the clicking, but um, I know that some of you guys don't and I'd rather just people feel good either way. So yeah, if you missed the last episode, we had our first spellcaster baby with Morgan. Yeah. And then we had our two vampire babies and we also have Santa's kids. So we've got one more spot left in the house. So we're probably gonna have one more baby t in this episode. So yeah, I love you guys. I hope you guys are doing great. We made it to 70k, which is so exciting. We're on our way to 100k and I'm just like... <sighs> No words. <laughs> Without any further ado, let's get into this episode. All right, guys, here we are back on the lot. It looks like Brenna here is joining game. Not who, not sure who she's joining oh. with, but uh, you do you, I guess. We got Servo here who is going to recharge on this bench. That's cool. Aww. Aww. I hope they're friends. So cute. I where what outfit is that? I'm almost a hundred percent sure I didn't give you that outfit, but okay. Oh, oh, the bedrooms, the bedrooms. Don't look. <laughs> um, right, let me show you. Okay, so I created a little walk walkway slash hallway type of thing. Uh there's Mr. Merlin, so very, very cute. Uh this is the spellcaster door. Um, let's head in. Oh, I put all the baby, um, I mean, uh, birth certificates there. So let's head into the spellcaster room. I use a lot of stuff from the pack, and also there was the CC pack that I found a while ago when this pack came out. I use a lot of stuff from that too. But I wanted it to feel like classic wizardy. Um, so yeah, this is it. I love this wallpaper. It's CC, of course, but yeah, it just reminds me of like a common room in, at Hogwarts or something like that with like a blue theme. I don't know. I don't know. It looks very cozy. I would not mind living in this bedroom or having this be my bedroom. <laughs> Those parrots are so cool. But yeah, this is it. I hope y'all like it, and I've never used this puppet uh, booth thing before, so I'm kind of excited to try that out. And then this is the vampire bedroom, the door's open for us. Um, so since it's right next to the pool that's in the mermaid room, um, I was able to add these windows, which go straight into the bottom of the pool. I thought that was so cool, I don't know why I don't do this with more builds, but yeah, like this is the pool right here. So if someone was swimming, we would be able to see their feet. <laughs> and I just added some vampire stuffed animals in there and some lights just to make it look um, full and not empty. This is These are their beds. I found some vampire bed CC for toddlers. I thought these were perfect. <laughs> And then, yeah, this is just the other corner, the little play area here. It looks like Dawn, I'm pretty sure that's her name. Dawn is getting down on the dollhouse, so that's cool. Yep, those are the bedrooms. I hope y'all like them. Oh, another thing that I wanted to mention, uh, you guys gave me an answer about Dr. Evil. You said to wait until the end. Wait until we're on our last baby and then kill him and have the ghost baby. I think that's such a great idea because then we could do both things. So I think that's what we're gonna do. Speaking of Dr. Evil, this guy, I think he might have a crush on us or something because he's like always here. Let's invite him in. 
It's fine. This is Ash. Let me give you like a little uh, refresher. Ash is our one of our vampire kids. And then we have Dawn, who we just saw playing. So cute. And then we have Noel, who's very stinky. <laughs> Santa's baby. And then her brother Nick, in the outfit that I did not give him. And then Merlin, who is Morgan's child, our first spellcaster baby. Um, we want to have another baby with L and Simeon, I think is his name. Simeon Silver Sweater. Um, I was going to do Grace as well, but you guys said that Grace isn't a uh, sage. So uh, I think we're going to hold off on her. Let's just talk to Mr. Evil for a little bit. Sweet Relate to feelings. Um, let's ask him if he's single. Let's see if like he's even uh, daddy material. I have a feeling he's married. <gasps> he is single. Oh my god, they're embracing. Stop. I mean, I guess there's nothing wrong with developing some romance with him right now. But it's still weird because he's going to deliver our babies still, so I don't know. Is he going to get jealous if we have romance with him? <laughs> is it Christmas? Why is this chicken at- oh my god, it is. It's freaking Winterfest. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. cute. Not going to lie, I don't really like Winterfest when I'm doing these challenges. Cause like, I just want to focus on the challenge, not uh, getting a tree and celebrating and all that, so... I don't know. I guess we could just get a tree and shove it in the corner. Let's get the white tree. It matches the living room and I never use the white tree. Do you guys hear that? Exactly, you can't hear anything. That's what I wanted in a keyboard. Just silence, you know? Complete and utter silence okay we got a tree we already have a christmas themed room so i think we're good on the decorations let's get her to actually put up some outside decorations first okay so this means she really needs food i think she might be stuck right there so i'm just gonna get her to teleport grab a serving of that oh look who's here guys falls of winter um Let's ask him for a present. Let's see if he gives us something like super good since we're soulmates. Ah, and Can we have a present, Clement? It is Christmas! Hook it up, my dude! I love how you see them in the mirror, too. Oh, something good! Tell me something good! Uh, a grill! That's not bad. Let's see what Servo got. The Schmapple Micro. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and invite over Elle. I'm gonna try with her again. One of you guys said to check MC Command Center to make sure that uh, it's set to can get pregnant with the same sex. So, I'm gonna go ahead and try that. Let me check my settings on the computer. Okay, I think I fixed it. So let's go ahead and try. Oh my God, there's so many options that's not good <laughs> hopefully clement doesn't follow us upstairs that would be so awkward where is he where is he okay no jealousy should happen let's give it a try and see if uh the issue got fixed oh Interesting! <laughs> toddlers upon toddlers upon toddlers. <laughs> okay, let's try again. I had just updated Slice of Life and uh, I didn't take out the menstrual cycle part of it and she was on her period so she wasn't able to try for a baby again and I was like, yeah, I need to take that out. So I took it out real quick. <laughs> Come on! Come on, y'alls. Okay, let's try this. Come on, please, Brenna, please, please. For me! Oh, okay. What the heck? Let's invite her to stay the night so that she doesn't leave. Oh, well, it's 7 a.m. <laughs> she been stayed the night already. Nick is very hungry. Okay, love. Oh, shoot, you're stuck. Oh, look at it! Look at how lovely! The vampire kids are just trashing their room. I love to see it. I freaking love it, dude. 
Miss Butler, where are you? Por que no help me? How are you? Okay, you're doing good. Time for you to get up and eat something so we can uh, try to get you pregnant again with Elle. It is two o'clock, so I think we can go ahead and invite her out. Or invite her over, I mean. Yes, she would be right over. That's amazing. And the settings that I went to, by the way, are here. So you go to MC Pregnancy, you go to Partner Sim Selection, Partner Gender, and then you have to set it to female and male. So it should work now, unless there's something else that I'm missing, which kind of bums me out. But let's give this a shot again. So we still need to work on um cha 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 where is the tragic clown why are you not in our relationships anymore her name was nadine and i'm not seeing oh here she is nadine so we need to work on her we need to work on simeon we need to work on what else was left grim right pregnant what the heck? I don't understand why. Well, I'm gonna get them to try <laughs> again. I'm just gonna get them to keep trying until uh, Brenna is pregnant. Cause I can't think of anything else. Okay, I made them like try for baby a bunch of times and like the option to take a pregnancy test wasn't even there. But it says in MC Command Center that she is pregnant with one female baby. So that's good. So I'm just gonna go ahead and throw her into labor then. And uh, we can go to the hospital with her. I'm so excited to see what this baby's gonna look like. You guys don't even know. Like, I'm so pumped. I can't wait to give it pink hair. And then, as far as names go, I think I wanna do Sabrina. I really love that name for a spellcaster baby. Oh, Dr. Evil, you are so happy to see us. Mm. We would get dinner with you, but we're currently having another child. So, yeah. Gonna have to cancel on that. She's like, oh, nice, you're back. That's what's up. Oh my god, what the scare, but they were just doing romance. Oh, jeez. Jeez, jeez, jeez. She's got a messy life. Hey, no soda for you. Have the freaking child. Check in at front desk. Having a baby at a hospital is so glitchy. And a lot of you guys have asked me uh, what pack this is from, and this is from Get to Work. Because you get to like go with your sims to work. And like being a doctor is one of the careers that you can join with them when they go to work. So that's why we can come to the hospital and have the kid. So yeah, okay. Sabrina it is. Sabrina the Teenage Witch. All right, Sabrina. Sabrina Ayala, that's such a pretty name. I love it. Thanks, Dr. Evil. Um, let's just compliment his appearance and then head home. <laughs> that was quick. Uh, again, I have a sparkling watermelon Celsius. I like to drink these when I'm filming because it, like, gives me an extra pep in my step, if you know what I mean. They have a lot of caffeine, 200 mg's, so cheers. Cheers to being peppy. Why are these babies sad? What is this? Body insecurity. He believes he's too skinny. This is a joke, right? They're freaking toddlers. Oh my god, I can't deal. I can't freaking deal. <laughs> what? You can't have an average body type as a toddler. And Don. Thick body type? What are you talking about, baby? You're so tiny! Oh my god, that is a major flaw, having body insecurity with toddlers. Like, I'm sorry, that just... That's- that just ain't it, chief. <laughs> uh, where's the baby, though? Oh, wow, it appeared right next to her bed. Perfecto. Should probably put it actually we're just gonna age her up right now so it doesn't even matter all right let's age her up give her toddler makeover which i'm very very excited for and she's gonna be oh god no i hate this trait for toddlers they are so hard to take care of because they're always tired 
Oh, Zerg sent Sabrina a gift. How sweet. So, so, so very sweet. All right. If you guys are wondering what keyboard and mouse I got, uh, the keyboard is just a <gasps> Mac a keyboard. Name. This is a really pale baby. Unless that was, um, that's a skin detail. Anyway, the keyboard is a Mac keyboard. I really like these keyboards the because how sweet wallet. they are. Um, they're Bluetooth, they're very quiet, and then the mouse I got, I don't think you guys can see, but I just searched Silent Mouse on Amazon. This was like the highest rated one. Yeah. Hello, <laughs> Spellcasta! So, is this a skin detail? It's not! That's just your skin tone! Okay! I think we should go with it. I think that's pretty tight. Gray! A gray toddler. <laughs> oh, this is really cool. I'm happy she got something unique. Okay, so let's give her some skin details then, shall we? Uh, I like all the freckles. I think we're definitely gonna keep that. I don't even- she doesn't even need much. If I use a skin detail, then it takes away her freckles. And I want her freckles to stay. And she got freaking- Oh! <gasps> Oh my god, yes. I downloaded the default for these eyes, the eyes that I always use. They're called um, Paradise Eyes by Crybabies, but it's never been a default, and now it's a freaking default, guys. Yes. Now I don't have to worry about changing the eyes every single time. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah. Oh my god, yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> You guys can't tell. I already see a lot of L in her. And we wanted to give her pink hair. She's got sad eyebrows. Look at that. So very sad. I kind of like it though. I think we should run with that too. All right, let's find a toddler hair that comes in pink because not all of them do. That's kind of cute. She kind of looks like like she would be a ghost toddler, not a spellcaster toddler. Oh, that's adorable. Love that one. So that's an option. What about this? Is this coming pink? It does. Oh, that looks sweet. I love that. Ooh. Ooh, so cute. Love that one too. I don't normally like this hair, but I actually really like it on her in the pink. I think it would look really cute with a hat. So let's see. Aww. Should we do one of these again? I'm so obsessed with these. Oh, so dang cute. Okay, let's see what we can put her in. Definitely a full body outfit. Ooh, what about the cute black cat dress? This could totally work. Let's see what else there is first. This is really cute. What is this from? Is that base game? I don't know, but I like it, so that's an option. Aw, look at this. That's so cute, and it matches. This is really cute too. <gasps> Look, this matches the headband. Oh my god, that's so cute. Okay, let's do this one. Look, I got some Nikes for my toddlers. Aren't they cute? <laughs> I think this is good. What do you guys think? I think she's super, super adorable. I love that she got this gray skin tone. It's something different. <laughs> and I love that we were able to give her pink hair. Okie dokie, we are back. Here is little baby Sabrina who's sad from the freaking body type thing. Oh my God, that just makes me mad. Okay, so now that we have a full household, I think, uh, what should we do? I want to do like the makeovers in between this episode and the next episode. So I'm just gonna wait on that. But let's see, let's see who, what relationships do we need to work on? Maybe we should invite over the tragic clown lady. I don't know if she'll come because it's kind of late. We can go ahead and try. Nadine is sleeping, of course she is. We'll try in the morning. I love that the, the toddlers always sit on this little ottoman thing and eat. <laughs> I think it's so cute. And this butler, this butler has stayed the same for a while. I think that's a record. 
It always changes, but she's been around for quite some time. Oh, look at Servo getting his boogie on. How cute is that? Heartfelt compliment. Compliment his body. Dang. I mean, sure, why not? Let's just give him a little confidence boost. Okay, so I was having them do some romance. And look, we can risky hook up with Servo. So, you know what? I think we can have a baby with him if we do it that way. Because the risky hookup is from a mod. And I don't think the mod recognizes if a sim is a robot or what. So we can give that a shot. Who knows? I'm excited to find out though, but we can't do it right now because of uh, the household being full. Alright, I'm gonna get her to head to bed. And in the morning we can invite over Nadine. And then what else do we have left? We still need the Island Elementals, Grim, the Tragic Clown, Simeon, the other spellcaster, um, a ghost, perhaps, if we get the mod. Um, hey, this guy's name is Felix. I was just saying in my other series how Felix isn't really a common name where I'm from. And now there's someone named Felix, of course. <laughs> and look, she's dreaming about ghosts. She wants the ghost baby. Oh, right, but we decided to have or to kill off uh, Dr. Evil in the end. Right, 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 right. This house is going to be so huge by the end of this. Uh, but I'm okay with that because we have plenty of room. It's just going to be kind of laggy. Wow, you guys, what a silent and peaceful household. The six toddlers are sleeping. I can't believe it. Everyone is sleeping besides Servo. Oh my god, he's getting romantic with the butler. <gasps> oh, but she's unflirty. Oh, you better be careful there. It makes sense why they would get flirty. They spend a lot of time together. Oh, now he's sleeping. Oh, now he's awake. What's he gonna do? Read the board? Why don't you um, make breakfast for everyone? Since the butler probably isn't going to do it. Why don't you do it? Cook! Eggs and toast, party size. Eggs and toast, party size. What you mean you can't do it? All right, we'll tell the butler to do it then. Butler, assign task. Cook party meal. <laughs> Excuse me. Nawai? I don't even know how to pronounce our butler's name. I don't know what that line means above the A. Nawai. Nah, why? I don't know. But look at that. She's got some asparagus going. Wow. She's gonna saute the asparagus. Okay. Let's see what's next. See if we can try and guess what she's making. Oh, that's fun. All she's done so far is saute asparagus. What's next? Seasoning. Okay. Oh shoot, Dawn's awake. What's the next step? What are you doing? What is this? Oh, it's done! Oh! Duh. <laughs> Prosciutto wrapped asparagus. Thank you, darling. Thank you for cooking. Do -do 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 -do. Yes, go in your own room and play. This spellcast room is not for you, but I love how Merlin is sleeping in here. I didn't even tell him to do that. He just knew it was his room. So cute. Who's sleeping in here though? Okay, she's supposed to know. You're in the right spot. You are also in the right spot. You are not. I still think it's lame that toddlers can't claim beds. What's that about? Time to get your butt up, have a serving of this asparagus, and then maybe we can go out and... I don't know, should we go on a date? with one of them? Should we go on a date with Nadine or Simeon? I'm thinking Nadine because it's gonna be quite hard yeah, but... to uh, get that relationship up since she's so sad all the time. Oh! And you guys wanted me to check out this uh, this Grim Reaper thing. It's like a skull display case where you can interact with the Grim Reaper somehow. Let's see. Oh my gosh! Whoa! Okay, this is it. Sugar Skull Display Case. It's not from a pack. It's just base game, I think. 
But it says here, this interaction causes colorful smoke to spill forth and your sim will commune with the with their inner Katr Katrina to allow for enhanced interactions with the Grim Reaper. Okay, we're definitely buying one of these. And let's put it up in Brenna's room so she can like conjure him up here without being disturbed by other people. <laughs> oh my god, I just realized this door is just a walkway. I wonder. I wonder if that like prevents them from peacefully going to the bathroom. Let's put it here. Okay, so I need sugar skulls. How do I get sugar skulls though? Okay, this seems like it's a lot. Uh, it's a challenge and like a collection in The Sims. Uh, it says, Sugar skulls can be acquired by interacting with random NPC Sims who are celebrating the Day of the Dead. To bring these celebrators into your neighborhood, use the Leaf Sugar Skull Offering interaction on a nearby tombstone slash urn at night. Why do I feel like that's like an option on a holiday as well? Oh, oh, yes, the flower bunny is also who we need. Okay, yeah, I don't see anything about sugar skulls on here. I thought, I thought maybe I had seen one in the past, but no. So we need, we need to kill someone else so that we can have a gravestone on our land so that we can like leave sugar skull offerings and collect all of them. I'm just kind of interested to see what interactions unlock with Grimm. I think that would be a cool way to find out because I've never done that before and I don't know if you guys have either. Okay, let's ask Nadine. Let's send her a flirty text and see if she asks us on a date. That usually uh, uh, makes them ask instead of us having asked them. I see you're in a good mood. Maybe we should head out and have a drink. Yes, girl. Let's go. 7 a.m. drinks. Hi, Nadine. So, uh, this is the tragic clown. And she is always depressed and sad. So it's very, very hard to, uh, like, get relationship with her and to do anything romantic with her. Let's just hit her with a sexy pose real quick and see what happens. Narfa? Ooh, oh my god, it worked! She liked it! Flirt with her. Kiss her hands! Oh, Just pull out all the tricks, no. Brenna. Let's get it. Oh god, <laughs> stop crying! Things seem to be going well, which is good. She's taking all of our romantic uh, advances. Maybe we shouldn't brighten her day. Oh. She didn't want her hands kissed. I'm really feeling this outfit. Though. Natural leader. Huh. Maybe we should get her drunk. Oh god, Elle's here? Where? Oh shoot! That's not good. Well, we already had her kid, so I guess it doesn't even really matter. Mmm, she shouldn't be here though. I just want you to go away. Can you go away, please? Sit and chat here. Come on, let's head inside. Of course. Of course there's a snowstorm. When isn't there a snowstorm in my game? Let's be real. Go order a drink for her. Get her nice and loosey-goosey, baby. Loosey-goosey. Oh, stop. Stop. Of course. Of course she's the only freaking sim here. Where did Nadine go? Did she really just bounce on us? Wow, she totally left. Fine. Let's play some foosball with uh, uh, L. Might as well do something while we're here. I can't believe she just left. We got a little bit of romance bar with her, so that's good. How cute are they? Look at the little foosball guys. They're adorable. <laughs> okay, I think it's time that we head home. All of our children are sad for some reason, so I'm gonna go check and see what that's all about. I can't believe Nadine just left. I think we're gonna have to invite her over to our house. A maid cleaned your house while you were away. You were charged $40. 
Thank you. Let's get the mail. See what's up with- Oh, okay, now they're better. Oh, they're just sad from their body. Right, 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 because toddlers totally care about that stuff. Yay, she's sleeping in the right bed! Oh, Servo was invited to an event? By who? Who do you know, Servo? Oh, okay, maybe Juniper or Clement. I guess you can go ahead and um, accept the invite. Sleepover? Looks like we're gonna lose Servo for a night. What is this? Check Servo's body fat weight. Wait, what do you mean? You're a butler. Why are you not here? I'm confused. All right, Nadine. I went and went ahead and invited her over. <laughs> She's still depressed, of course. This is gonna be hard, you guys. Let's just invite her in. Through ya, bro, hooray, Aziz, Alvina. Oh wow! I didn't realize you had so many kids running around. <laughs> oh, that's why the butler changed again. It's back to this guy, who I thought was a vampire, but actually isn't. I am so confused about how this whole butler thing works in this game. I thought you just got a butler and they were your butler forever. I guess not. Okay, so what I've noticed with Nadine, she likes to flirt with us, but that whenever we try to touch her or do anything like that, she's like... Yes. Nah, dog, I'm good. Like, I just tried to hug her, and we tried to kiss her hands, and she just doesn't like touching. So, I guess we'll just have to flirt with her from afar. <laughs> oh my god, what just happened there? They were talking, and then all of a sudden... No. You need to have that first kiss. You're able to just get it done before... Please, please, don't, don't deny us. Please don't deny us. This... Is such an accomplishment. You guys have no freaking idea. This girl is a hard cookie to crack. Ugh. Gosh, that was so hard. It's okay, love. This little bean over here is making a mess. Not on my watch. Strictly yell at for making a mess. Um, thanks for coming around, Nadine. Thank you for uh, thank you for taking taking our kiss. Do we want to go on it to dinner with L? I don't think so, girl. We already got your baby. We don't need another. Okay, so let's check the calendar and see when Egg Day is. Oh my God, it's in a week. I guess we could change it to like a sooner date. Why don't we do that? Let's add a holiday. Let's just put the flower bunny and let's call it flower bunny. <laughs> Riveting, am I right? Okay, so flower bunny should be here in a few days so we can get that done. Just get to know uh, the bunny and build that relationship so that when some of these kids move out, we can just like quickly have kids with the flower bunny um so let's try and figure out what skills and things like that the kids need to max to move out they're not max just get to level five so i'm thinking for noelle we'll do baking she is one of santa's kids and i think what the freaking asparagus dog um, Nadine, stop! You're really, like, depress depressing up this house. I don't appreciate it very much. Where's the butler at? Donde estas? Butler! Oh my god. Ask to leave. You gotta go. Oh, there you are. Ask to leave and then... Let's get Mr. Butler here to cook a party meal for us since the asparagus went bad. Okay, so what was I saying? <laughs> uh, right, so Noelle will- no, no, off to make a mess? I don't think so. Okay, so, Noelle, baking. Nick, woodworking. I really liked that, like making toys and stuff like that. Dawn, 
Vampire. She's a vampire. Okay, so we could do pipe organ. And then for Ash, we can do vampire lore. And then Merlin. Let's have a look at the skills and see. Let's see here. For a spellcaster. I mean, herbalism, that could work. This is tough. I know for Sabrina, I want to do mischief for her. But for Merlin, I guess we could just do herbalism. And then for the third spellcaster, we can do... Dang, I don't know. This is tough. Okay, maybe for all the spellcasters, we can just like get them to get to a certain level in their mag- a certain um, magical level instead of doing- instead of doing skills. You guys are gonna have to let me know what you think about that. Uh, vote for skills for the spellcaster or like certain spellcaster ranks, because I'm really not sure. If you guys can think of like a third- skill that makes sense for a spellcaster let me know too look ash i'm sorry i know you're hungry but this butler just won't cook or you won't finish cooking there what is this eggs benedict Sharba, karu is soy you know what this guy is not paranoid he's erratic oh scan for traits yes servo get it king Scan him. I need to know. Oh, look at that. What are they, Servo? What are they? Kleptomaniac, Erratic, and Bro. Why would anyone want this guy as a freaking butler? Wow, a klepto. I wonder if he's stolen anything from us. All right, guys. I think I'm going to end this episode right here. Because uh, we have a full household right now, there isn't really anything that we can do at the moment. And I do want... Why is this baby running around outside in the snow? I guess pff, snow probably doesn't even bother you, does it? <laughs> um... But between now and the next episode, I'm definitely going to age up the toddlers, give them their makeovers, and uh, we can start working on their skills in the next episode. And then we can move them out and have a new batch of babies, which is going to be the third spellcaster. That kind of sucks that it's gonna that uh, that baby is gonna be separate from the other two, but that's okay. So the third spellcaster, we're gonna try with Servo. We're gonna do Nadine. We're gonna try and do Grim. Um, oh, and the flower bunny. Right. So we still got a ways to go in this challenge. I hope you guys are still enjoying it. I know I am. It's really, really fun. And let me know if you guys are trying it as well. I've seen so many people like tag me in their children's pictures. And they told me that it, um, this challenge inspired them to start one uh, themselves, which I think is cool. Also, I think it's so awesome, all of the messages that you guys have been sending me on Instagram, telling me that I've helped you in this quarantine. I think that's really cool. I'm so glad that I can be like a little bit of entertainment for you, because I know it can be really boring when you can't leave the house. So keep those messages coming. I love them. If you haven't followed me on Instagram, it's LadySav, not SimSav. I know it's kind of confusing, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you like Sabrina. I know I do. I think she's really, really cool and unique. Anyways, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!